back to that uh, heavy bench. Big goal of mine currently right now is to hit 315 for five pause reps. Most I've ever done that for was five touch and go. I was probably about 30 pounds heavier than I am now. Uh, so we're gonna smash this chest. Smash this chest workout and you're gonna smash that like button down below. Let's dive into it. I don't want to hit the lens. Back out here at Excel in Pickering, Ontario. If you all like the gym, let us know because we might be coming here a lot more once I'm out of school. It'd be really convenient for us. It's really chill. It's like there's this whole subsection area just for like all the stuff we like, free weights and that. Take a look around. Let us know your thoughts. Pop a perky just to start up. Pop it. Pop it. Pop two cups of purple just to warm up. Two cups. Drink. I heard your bitch, she got that water. Splash. Drip. Drip. Woo. Splash. So what are your bench goals? Uh, my bench goals, I'd like to do. I don't know. I think I do 245 for five paws. The most I've ever done was. 235 for like three paws, so up in the weight as well as the reps. Um, and them calories, bruh. As well as the calories. I really would like to get to 300 by the end of the year. Um, so you we'll got see how it. That goes. I think I'll do it. About to hit this though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that's your set. 275, baby. Oh man, I'll get it. You guys will see. My bench will go up. I've always had a, a pretty weak bench compared to my other lifts, but it's time to put a lot of work into it, so we'll uh, take you guys along that progress. So one thing I'm very passionate in, especially in the off season, a lot of people can kind of like lose their focus for the gym and just start doing random stuff, myself included, like, because you don't have any set goal. When you're cutting, it's always about that skill, how lean you're looking. When you're bulking, you're just getting a bit bigger. You can work off that, but it's hard to create tangible goals. Even my brother, I said, like, set goals for yourself monthly, like things you want to get done. So for me, it's that 315 by five bench, um, a bunch of other small things that can be how big you want your arms to be, where you want, if you want to lose an inch on your waist, or just small tangible goals, even dumbbell pressing 125s for 10 reps, something like that. But always give yourself a reason to be in the gym and try to reach goals each month. If you fall short, work harder next month, readjust and keep pushing forward, keep you on track. Matches last set, so he's the up in her. Let's get it. Oh, down on him, boy. Damn, look at my damn. I see the same bitches early Can't wait to get this money I'm gonna take my niggas early Take them pistols early I got hitters early I got bitches early Take them bitches early Every time I look up see this Feeling pretty good about that So we're calling for 3 by 6 for this So usually a lot of people ask me Especially a lot of my clients When you should be up in your weight And I know a lot of people use the excuse going I do 3 by 8 with that weight So I'm doing the right weight Or 3 by 6 in this circumstance but my perception is, if you can do all six easy and give it a bit more on the third, time to bring it up. 
you can see I got six, six, six and a half. So next workout, I'm not gonna use the same weight, say segment, I'm gonna push myself. And I might end up with six, five, four. The week after, I'm gonna go six, five, five, right? And that's a really good way to gauge it. If you're working in RIR, it's a little different. For this, we're not. It's an RIR of zero, so it's 100% what you can give it. But that's kind of the scale you work up. RIR is also reps in reserve. So if you have two more, I would only work to four here. Leave off those two, save some volume for later in my workout. If you guys want to know more about that, we can explain more detail in the next video. Comment below if you got any questions. Gosh, so we're uh, mid-February and I think we're at a point where a lot of people are either falling off their goals or they're just absolutely crushing it. If you've fallen off, recommend jumping back on the wagon, you know, following our Rising Legends series and really crushing those goals and really working towards them. Anyways, one of our main goals uh, this series and just for the rest of the years, so we have our specific numbers that we want to hit, but we really want to bring back the intensity and I think a good way to monitor this is when you leave the gym, ask yourself that, is this workout that I actually just did really bringing me closer to reaching my goals and gonna take me to the next level? I think that's a really good way to make sure that you're working hard and bringing that intensity every workout. So let's crush it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can I get some of this please? Can I get a mild and medium? <laughs> and then some guac please. This is a big, this is huge. That's a beefy burrito, boy. Man, this thing is actually massive. It's a beefy burrito. Solid 1,400 cows. Yeah, I'd say at least 1,400 calories. Let's see how it is. So much mine is without the sauce. Is that how much yours is? Yeah, without the sauce, too. This is literally like double Chipotle, and you get guac, too. Try it, and double meat. This is probably not gonna be a pretty scene, because This is gonna be real messy. <laughs> real, real messy. Steak, chicken, guac, rice. I don't get sauce because it's cows galore. But this thing is a beauty. I'm fired up. We've got at least two pounds right here. Legit. This is all friggin' leaking, bro. Alrighty. That's all right. Yeah. This is definitely my favorite burrito place. I've thought about it long and hard. Chipotle, I don't know. They don't give you much for the price, especially in Canada. Um, burrito boys I used to like, but they like take like 10 minutes to bake the friggin' burrito. Here it's like 10 seconds, so. I don't know, this is a winner. This is a visual of how Kyle's life is. This organizational capability. Wow, you're really gonna put me on blast like that? All right, so to the title of the video, Building the Best Physique Ever, you guys can see that our training is really on point. Felt good to kind of talk to you guys where we're at for that. We're coming in, we just push, pull legs, repeat. And it's keeping it nice and clean for us right now to get back to the basics, to focus on getting stronger, pushing ourselves and bring that intensity. Our plan right now is we figure we can't just cut from nothing. I've said this before. So that's why we're doing this big bulk right now. Myself, I'll talk about my own goals and Kyle his. But I want to bulk up to a point where I feel I have good strength, my hormones are kind of recuperated back to where they were, I don't have any issues from the previous cut, I feel ready to dive in, and I feel like I want to cut. I feel like a lot of people hang on to like the lean bulk mentality, not really gain much, then they'll eat a ton and then they'll go on a four week cut and it's up, down, up, down, up, down. But we've been trying to kind of follow the path of just up, down, up, down seasonally, keeps it clean, put on muscle in the off season, do a big shred, and this summer is going to be a huge shred. We're going to bring our best package ever. We're going to definitely do some photo shoots, film some crazy videos, and just get absolutely diced, look insane, and we're going to show you guys how to do it step by step. We're super excited for summer. This summer, we're just going to take massive action. What about you, KG? So, uh, I've actually increased, <laughs> I've increased my calorie intake to like 4,400, which is like 610 carbs, 220 protein, and like 120 fat, which is 
a ton. So this burrito, like 1500 calories, definitely does me well. Like we mentioned before, we're trying to keep it nice and clean as possible. We're still gonna have donuts, but having you know 4500 calories is not that easy. Um, we did make a few videos giving you guys tips, but that being said, like I said, nice and clean. But anyways, my goal here is to get to, I'd say just over 190 pounds. The biggest I've ever been was, I'd say 188, 190, um, where I was like pretty chunky. And that was back in my, you know, my glory days when I was like drinking a lot and stuff. So I just want to get up to be like 190, just be absolutely house, pushing a lot of weight, and just be able to take that physique that I built down to about 160 pounds and just be absolutely diced and like literally bring the best package I've ever had for the summer. And uh, yeah, we're just super excited. Rising Legends continue to grow. Thank you guys for checking in. Make sure to press that like button so this video can be seen by a lot more people. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Cause I'm flexing Rory. You can bet on me.